Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Another day, another PS4 exclusive seemingly coming to PC. This one being Yakuza Like a Dragon, which has been listed on Steam Database. Now, this one isn't as notable as, say, a Horizon or a Death Stranding or games of that nature because this isn't even a game published by Sony. It's also of a franchise that's been making a transition to PC. But nonetheless, I find this interesting for a number of reasons, being that Yakuza has been making a transition to PC. This is essentially Yakuza. Yakuza 7, where is Yakuza 3 through 6? And that still has not happened, nor has Project Judgment, but nonetheless, we'll talk all about that. And Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has gotten a significant content update, and it is absolutely free. This is a game that was honestly one of my favorite games of 2019. I really adored this game, and I had such a good time with it, that this free content update is also adding a significant amount of stuff. I mean, it's not as big of a stuff being added to the game that would warrant a significant DLC purchase, so the fact it is free isn't completely outstanding, however... It's EA, so you never know what to expect, but this is really good by them, and it just came to my realization that it was May the 4th, so obviously, it makes a lot of sense to drop this today. Nonetheless, we'll talk that in just a little bit. Okay, first of all, again, Yakuza Like a Dragon has been posted on SteamDB. I find this interesting, again, for a number of reasons, not necessarily for the reasons that Horizon Zero Dawn being a gravitas, a huge gravitas of a release on PC, just because that's breaking the barrier of Sony not bringing first-party titles to Steam, even more so than a game like um, Death Stranding, because I believe Kojima is still of a second party. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, on the other hand, was a Sony, completely Sony-owned studio in Guerrilla, and that game coming to PC is pretty monumental. In this case, this is a Sega-published game, but now it looks like we're getting some parody with the Yakuza releases on PlayStation 4 as well as PC. Traditionally, Yakuza has been making a delayed release on PC, you would see like Yakuza 0, that came out way after the PS4 release, Yakuza Kiwami way after the PS4 release, Kiwami 2 way after the PS4 release, however, again, I find this pretty strange just because Yakuza has been making the transition to PC, but why are we jumping right into Yakuza Like a Dragon, which... You know, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5, and 6 are not listed on the Steam database, but Like a Dragon is, so that's rather interesting if Like a Dragon comes out before the aforementioned titles. I'd also like to see Judgment come to PC. That was a really good game, and a game that I think would look beautiful on PC. Nonetheless, Like a Dragon is a pretty interesting title because it turns Yakuza on its head. It is a over-the-top turn-based RPG. Well, there's turn-based mechanics to it, and if you guys look up some of, like, the summonings in this game, absolutely ridiculous. I I think the zaniness might turn off some people. I am completely on board with the ridiculous nature of Yakuza Like a Dragon, and I think for some people that haven't even ever played a Yakuza title, this one might be the one to check out because, again, so much different from a gameplay standpoint. And it's over-the-top nature and zaniness, yes. Yakuza has always had a little bit of zaniness attached to it, but Like a Dragon is going a little bit off the deep end if you guys look up some of the summonings. I mean, once you're summoning giant crabs to fight for you and things of that nature, I mean, that's a little bit over-the-top, but nonetheless... It looks like that should be coming to PC soon. Uh, the PlayStation 4 version of this game dropped in Japan back in December. It still hasn't gotten a release date over here stateside, so I would imagine it would be out sometime later in 2020, but the fact of the matter is they've got a picture up there as well, so I think they are setting this up for a release sometime in the near, near future. All right, moving on from that, one of my favorite games of 2019 is getting a significant update. It's actually out right now, and that is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I should also add that the game is discounted right now on Steam. It is 40% off for $36, so you can get the Steam version. I think Amazon has it for $30, but then you would get the Origin version of the game. Just something to bear in mind. The content update page over on the EA a website for Fallen Order lists this. Welcome back, Jedi. You face the trials and tribulations of a dangerous galaxy. You've confronted troopers, beasts, inquisitors, and a foe far greater than all of them combined. But despite all that, you've made it through. Details on the new additions. We've got meditation training. Meditation training is the biggest part of the update and is a new game mode hub that can be accessed from the meditation points found throughout the game. Further details on that in just a little bit. In it, you'll be able to face off against enemies, including bosses in two different modes, combat challenges, and battle grid. For combat challenges, that'll put Cal against waves of enemies across multiple planetary backdrops from across the galaxy, including the Imperial Stronghold Fortress Inquisitors. Each unique location will feature its own unique challenges, too, allowing for a tailor-made experience that draw from each environment. Different challenges will have different numbers of waves, and each will have a three-star completion rating. And there are 12 challenges in total, and each challenge has three stars. Unlocking 12 stars in total, regardless of how many you get per challenge, will give you three new BD-1 appearances. On top 
top of that, they are adding New Journey Plus. A common request that they kept getting is to do New Game Plus, and that's essentially what New Journey Plus is going to be. So that's going to be really cool if you do want to revisit the game and play it once again. Also, to circle back to Meditation Training, we've got the Battle Grid. This mode is a sandbox for players to create their own encounters. In it, players will be able to select a location, the size of the encounter they want to face, tinker with various difficulty modifiers, and set the overall combat difficulty to one of the four difficulty options. There's a lot of room for creativity within this mode, and you'll be able to also save your grid creations to play later. As an added bonus, this mode will feature unique enemies Kalsad during the dark visions of his past and future, his fallen master, as well as the dark side version of himself. They also know they can't wait to see the encounters you create and hope you'll show screenshots and video clips of your punishing creations for the community to replicate. So it looks like there's no community sharing feature. That is a little bit of a bummer if you're going to do something like this where creation is incentivized. Why not do something where people can upload these creations and things of that nature so they can just download it right away and play it like that. But nonetheless... Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, this update is also bringing with it a lot of accessibility improvements and just general improvement bug fixes, things of that sort. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, again, a fantastic game. If you're a fan of single-player action-oriented titles, this is going to be right up your alley. I thought the story was really good. PC visuals are excellent in this, and I played it at 1440p. Really enjoyed my time with that. My experiences with the PC version were rather good as well, so definitely give that a strong recommendation. $36 is a little bit pricey. However, I think this is one of those games that is worth then maybe not the initial 60 but at 36 that's a nearly 50 percent off 40 percent off i think it's a pretty good buy so do check that out again you can find the origin copy a little bit cheaper at around 30 dollars but that's going to conclude this video again yakuza like a dragon looks to be coming to pc and steam rather soon and star wars jedi fallen order gets a free content update adding some notable stuff so definitely do check that out if you're interested that's going to conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.